the house that I just finished building and that I have moved my beautiful little family into. We have three kids. We built the house ourselves with my parents and everything is beautiful. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so we have Dr. Alice Delia from Prism Analytical with us. Dr. Alice, thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you for having me. What did we start finding with these tests? People will say, oh, I want to get, you know, zero, you know, zero VOCs or zero chemicals or something like that. And it just doesn't exist. From that perspective, then yes, this is actually really, really good because the building itself has a very, very low footprint. I wouldn't be surprised if you were two to 3,000. That would be kind of more my expectation for a relatively new house. This looks like a 30 or 40 year old house from that perspective. From the building side, you have new materials, doesn't matter what they are, whether it's a natural thing or a synthetic or whatever. You typically start off at really high levels because you basically unwrap the packaging and stuck it in the house, right? So here we are at a year and you're definitely on that, you know, that leveled off where you're at a, you know, fairly continuous, but, but small uh, emissions from all of the materials that make up the house. There was a formaldehyde test in here, which was on the kind of the low side of typical with as much wood as you might have there. Formaldehyde is produced by wood naturally. So no matter what you do, you can't get really, really low formaldehyde if you've got wood anywhere, which at least in the U.S., all of the substructures and the framing are typically wood, at least for homes. For a fairly new house, you might see double the formaldehyde that we saw in these samples here. So that would indicate to me it's something that's aged because it doesn't have that high signature. 